Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Daryl L. Jones from BeBetterOnPurpose.com and I'm also the creator of the Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Daryl L. Jones YouTube channel. And in today's video, I have a question for you. What is this year's best Christmas gift? Stay tuned and at the end I'll give you a solution to this question that I give many people who are watching Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Daryl L. Jones. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt God's name together. For truly this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. It is not unusual to experience the familiar push and pull between holiday gift giving and the higher purpose of the Christmas season. Exchanging gifts with family and friends and loved ones is the highlight of Christmas for many of us and that's wonderful because gifts brings joy to both the giver and the receiver. However, a seasonal gift exchange is fleeting and we're back to our regular lives before we even know it. But what if we gave a gift this Christmas that was permanent? So many of us recognize that Jesus is the true reason for the holiday season we love so dearly. But we don't always keep that in the forefront of our minds. So this Christmas, what if we not only acknowledge Jesus, but we emulate Jesus' love too? And then we continue practicing this love of Jesus Christ throughout the entire year. Because Jesus' love transcends all. Whether you're going about your holiday as usual or experiencing them in a different way this year, gaining a deeper understanding of Jesus Christ's love can transform not only you, but your relationships with those you love as well. So how can you demonstrate the love of Jesus during these holidays? Let me share with you a few tips. Extend grace to loved ones who may struggle to find joy. For some, finding the joy of Christmas doesn't always come naturally. This may manifest in behaviors that are difficult for the loved ones to navigate. So if you have loved ones who may become demanding or contentious during the holidays, give them some grace. There is likely a deeper reason why they struggle to enjoy the holidays, particularly if the year has been difficult. Next. Be open to family members who approach you with their concerns. The holidays can sometimes amplify strain and stress for some individuals and families. You may be the person in your family who tends to handle problems as they arise. So practice making yourself approachable so that if your loved ones need to bring you their concerns, they'll feel comfortable in doing so. Then be mindful of your loved one's needs. Yes, while Christmas is meant to be a time when we focus on the people we love, it's too easy to focus more on ourselves than our feelings. Yes, while Christmas is meant to be a time when we focus on the people we love, it's too easy to focus more on ourselves and our own feelings. But if we truly want to love like Jesus, then being more mindful of our loved ones need to be critical. Mindfulness means you have a heightened awareness of what those around you are feeling and what they may need. So put mindful awareness into practice this Christmas with the intent to carry it forward into your daily life beyond the holiday season. Then stand firm when neutralizing family disagreements. It's possible that you may find yourselves neutralizing disagreements during the Christmas season. And whether you are celebrating with just your immediate family or your extended relatives, it's not unusual for disagreements to arise about traditions, meals, or time and place of gathering. So if you need to diffuse a conflict, do so with kindness and do so with boldness and love. At the same time, looking for a win-win situation that works for as many of you as possible and then move forward with those in mind. And you want to give of yourself. 
Perhaps the greatest gift you can give your loved ones this Christmas is to give of yourself. Being selfless transcends decor, beautifully wrapped boxes, and a delicious Christmas meal. Instead, it shows your heart to those you love. Selflessness is paramount to demonstrating Christ-like love and it has the power to transform your relationships not only during the holidays but moving forward as well. So how will you show your love to your family and friends this Christmas? Please let us know in the comment sections. So this Christmas, let me encourage, engage, and empower you to trust God and trust the faith in God that is within you. I've learned that it's never too late to get it straight. Therefore, I want to encourage you to forgive yourself of anything hindering you from reaching the purpose that God has for your life. And then to find a team of encouragers that are committed to teaching what the Word of God says about living in your God-given purpose. Find a church home, if you haven't already, where you can experience the blessings of a true, genuine, and authentic community. And yes, weapons may form against us, but they shall not, they cannot, and they will not prosper against us because we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. If this video has helped you in any way, please feel free to share it with a friend. Also, if you are watching this on YouTube and you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button now. Book me to speak at your next event simply by sending me an email to bebetteronpurpose at gmail.com and visit my website www.bebetteronpurpose.com and my church, Champions for Christ Christian Church website at www.c4cchurch.com And yes, I'm on social media, so connect with me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dr. Darrell L. Jones or Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones. Well, until we're together again, Thank you so much for watching this video from Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones, and we will see you very soon.